Brandon, had you, had you thought ahead of time that if John started to struggle early or the pitch count rose in the first inning that you could remove him and put him in later? Or is that an idea that kind of evolved as the game was going on? And do you feel like it worked out pretty well? Yeah, that's a new rule this year that we are, we have a couple backup pitchers for every, every game in case a situation like that occurs, right? I can either roll the inning or uh, finish the inning with somebody else, but then have him go back out. Um, I just decided to get Flaw in there and give Flaw, give Flaw a hitter or two, and then, and then have Johnny go back out uh, for a second inning. So that's just an option that, that we have for these games. John Mioli, go ahead. Did you see all the things you would want to see from a John Means in his first start against a lineup like that? I thought his fastball was really good. I thought he threw the ball. Uh, he looked strong. He felt good. Um, just a lot of foul balls. We didn't help him out much. Also, we misplayed a ball and left. And, and there was a couple of close pitches there that didn't go his way. I thought, but I thought he threw the ball very, very well. Uh, threw a few good changeups, uh, you know, against pretty much their varsity club. And, and uh, should have been out of that first inning. And they had a nice second inning. Joe Treza, go ahead. Brandon, a lot of uh, young guys, a lot of prospects uh, getting their feet wet today with, with Adley and Gunnar Henderson and and Jordan Westberg. How, how do you think that those guys handled it today? I, I think that they, they did fine. Um, it's it's always a little bit of a, I know they're, they're anxious to be out there and they've been doing stuff with us periodically and you know, over here at Ed Smith Stadium in the backfields in the mornings. And so to get them uh, some game action, you're going to see more of them. Uh, you're going to see more playing time for those guys. They're going to be coming into games. Uh, Adley's going to be getting some more bats. You're going to see Westberg and Gunner, uh, Adam Hall, et cetera. Those guys are going to be coming in games uh, periodically throughout the spring. Dan Connolly, go ahead. Brandon, having Adley catch uh, Mickey Janis to, to start there, um, <laughs> what was behind that? Was that just coincidence the way it worked out? Or I guess he has caught him a little bit in the uh... – Yeah, Sevy was going to go four innings, and then Rush was going to catch the last three, and it just turned out that – Mickey Janice was one of those three. Hit not an easy assignment with Mickey Janice, Tanner Scott, and then Solster with a split. So, um, but I thought Adley really handled it well. That's going into fa to a catch a knuckleball guy in your first inning isn't the ideal situation. Uh, and then Tanner Scott after throwing 98 with the wipeout slider, not easy to do e there either. Um, but I thought he did a great job. Follow up from John Mioli. John, go ahead. Brandon, you probably want to be more process oriented with something like Cedric Mullins, you know, facing lefties left left handed. But but results aside, is that what you expected to see today? More advanced? Where was where'd that fall on that spectrum? I'm just happy with his at bats. I thought uh, they really squared that ball up against Montgomery the first at bat, and then uh, you had two other good at bats. Even the even the chopper, two strikes, put the ball in play, make something happen. Um, as well as the, the hit to right field. I thought he had really good at-bats left on left, uh, stayed in there nicely. That's kind of what I wanted to see was his takes. Um, I had seen him in a live BP, but hadn't seen it in game action, and, and uh, he stayed on the ball well. So uh, it was another good day for Cedric. And one more follow-up from Joe Treza. Joe, go ahead. Brandon, letting, letting Tyler Nevin – uh, to take out the lineup card and exchange it with his dad. Was that something that was in the works for a while? Um, and did he know about it or was he surprised today when that happened? Yeah, I didn't plan on that. We didn't plan on it. Phil, uh, Phil was taking it out for them. So uh, Freddie nudged me and, and uh, about, about Tyler. So uh, we, we yelled for Tyler to go take it out just because his dad was going out there. And uh, that was a nice moment. We should have probably planned that ahead of time, uh, but it worked out. And then he tried to pick him off in the seventh inning. So I didn't appreciate that. <laughs>